ladies and gentlemen, Dave Cowan. Dave Cowan. All right, how you guys doing tonight? I'm kidding, I don't care. This is awesome. So, I want to ask you guys about, um, what do you call those uh, undershirt tank tops that guys wear? Like, okay, see how many people know what I'm talking about? We have a shirt that's called a white beater. How is that okay? Are you fucking kidding me? We don't do that with other clothes. You can't go to the bar, see the girl in the short skirt, and be like, hey, that is a sexy cock tease you're wearing. She'll slap the shit out of you. Try to go to sunglasses, I'd say, I need a new pair of date rapists, I lost mine. They want to know what you're talking about. See so you do the pencil mustache, compliment them on the fine baby raper he's sporting. Not gonna go over well. But if I tell you guys I'm going to pick up some white beaters, you know I'm going to Target. I'm not going to the uh, trailer park looking for bowling partners. It's fucked up, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> fucked up. You guys watch uh, Ghost Hunters? Anyone? I just started watching that show, I'm kind of excited. I'm really just waiting for the episode where they finally catch Jesus. I think that's gonna be good. Probably sweet, sweet, maybe. Uh, we're having a party next week. So you had to go to BevMo to stock, stock up on alcohol. I love BevMo because they have like all the booze, but my favorite part is like the gift sets, where it's like a box, like the booze with some accessories. Usually it's something normal, like shot glasses or a cocktail mixer. But I saw one the other day, it had a couple golf balls in there. And I thought that was kind of presumptuous because I hate golf. But also, not the best thing to give a drunk guy. Someone's gonna get broke, I'm gonna get in trouble. But then again, it was scotch. And scotch isn't really, let's get fucked up kind of an alcohol. Like, no one's ever called you guys and said, hey man, I got some doers, let's get wasted. And besides, I like the idea of getting something with my booze that's like the adult, adult version of Tony the Cereal Box. Like, how cool would it be if you go to the liquor store and get some Jack, and it's there in a box with, like, rusty prison shank? Because that's the kind of booze Jack is, right? It's dangerous, it's aggressive. Everybody here knows somebody who turns into a complete asshole when they drink Jack. In fact, who here is that guy? He's got to be here somewhere. Keep an eye on him. Now... You go to buy gin, gin's a little classier. That's gonna come with like a monocle and a fake mustache. You guys know you'd wear that shit. Probably fight over it, so hopefully you know where you're at Jack to the party. You go to buy schnapps, that's gonna have like a, a tampon or a mini skirt. Someone says I'm a huge pussy. Vodka would really just come with a nice set of apology stationery. Just cards to say I'm really sorry about and you fill in whatever horrible thing you did the night before and send them out. Now tequila. I would really want tequila to come with bail money, because that's what you're going to need. But I know you fuckers would just spend that on something even more dangerous. And let's be honest, every journey that begins there is going to end in AIDSville. So tequila is still on the drawing board. I'm going to hold off on that one. Where's my Jaeger drinkers at? You guys will back me up. Jaeger should come with bandages. Lots of them. Because that's what's going to happen when you drink Jaeger at night. Anyone here drink uh, absinthe? Absinthe is a fucked up alcohol. We got one over here. It's fucked up, right? It's crazy. The only thing that should come with that is a disposable camera, because you will not believe the shit you did until you see the pictures the next day. Like, oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I gotta burn these. I'm glad you guys didn't groan at the AIDS joke. AIDS is finally funny again. We can laugh at it. People don't talk about it much anymore. Like, you never hear about the AIDS quilt. You guys remember that thing? Haven't heard about that in a long time. I wonder if we finally gave it to the Indians. Ooh, another AIDS joke wrapped in historical reference. Not so much? All right, Chugo, you can have that one, dude. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yes, I love you, Chugo. Chugo, my buddy. So, anyone ever have, uh, you guys have a friend who's like such a downer, like a good friend, you love them, but they're such a downer, you never want to talk to them? Yes. Like, you see their name come up on the phone, you just don't want to answer it, because it's always like the worst shit happens with this person. And it's not like I got a flat tire, or I got fired, it's just like horrible shit, like they'll call you yeah, I did a coyote game my dog last night. <laughs> Fuck. Or call you a couple days later, be like, I got to go to the doctor. I woke up bleeding out of my ears. <laughs> God damn, dude, really? It's just so depressing. You see his name on the phone, you don't want to answer it. But you have to. So if you don't answer, this might be the time he kills himself. And when they find him, they're going to see that your number is the last one on his phone. That is going to be an awkward funeral. All your mutual friends will be like, yeah, I heard he tried to call you right before he did it. It's too bad he couldn't get a hold of you. You could have saved him. And you're just like, yeah, dude. I was at the movie. It's strong. <laughs> so you answer it. And you talk to him. And it's just fucking miserable and depressing. You're just like, dude, how do you get by? Your life is like a Darren Aronofsky film. Holy shit. And every once in a while, he throws it out there. A little need for validation. He's like, 
man, maybe I'd be better off dead. And you're like, well, maybe you would. <laughs> you get serious, I'm sorry. But you can't say that, because then he does kill himself. And he leaves a note. And it says, I'm really sorry, I'm going to miss you guys. And I want to thank Dave for giving me the courage to go through with this. That's going to be even more awkward funeral. I think if I did it, I, I'm kind of a dick. I would leave a, a note that I would think is funny. Like, I would just scrawl on a piece of paper, big letters, you're next. <laughs> Pin that shit to my shirt. Find me hanging from a noose in the garage. That would freak out everybody. Everyone you know would not sleep for days. And that, my friends, is called commitment to the bit. I couldn't do it, though. I couldn't kill myself. Too much of a bummer. If I was going to, I'd probably have to find some way to jazz up or make it a little bit fun, maybe. I'd say you're going to jump off a building. Before you do, you go to the toy store, you're spending $1,000 on Super Bowls. When you jump, bam! Super Bowls all over downtown, just for blocks, bouncing around. People might actually enjoy that, it'd be kind of fun. Or maybe you're more a gun in the mouth kind of guy, Kurt Cobain style. You should get a hat filled with confetti. Bang, pop! It's like a parade drop came through your room. Nobody's going to be too distraught if they stumble upon that. I think the best one, though, would be the showstopper. You stand on the train tracks, and before you do, you fill your pockets, your socks, your pants, your shirt, you fill everything you can with as much glitter as possible. Train comes by, <laughs> glitter explosion. It's like the end of a Chris Angel show. You'd probably get an applause break from some people hanging around. Nobody would ever forget that. But like, dude, were you there when it happened? No, I missed it. I hope it's on YouTube. I want to see that shit. Well, I hope you guys had a good time tonight. Anyone? Yeah. Talk about yeah. it. Thank you for the evening and comedy for tonight. I think Jeff Pillow is taking a shit right now, so I'm just going to stall for a moment. There he is. Give it up for Jeff Pillow, everybody. Dave Callens. Nice job, man. Dave Callens, ladies and gentlemen. Stop me mid piss right there. Thank you very much. So keep it going for everybody. That was fun, huh? Everybody had a good time. Yeah, some talking, some laughing. Everybody enjoyed it.